What's up, YouTube? Jamie the Kid Zero Zero here, and I'm back with a, a new deck build that I've been trying to uh, work on. I set myself the challenge to build myself a very, uh, well, a more original deck using some different archetypes from what I'm used to. So I chose uh, Machines, and I chose Roids. So um, I've been trying this out on Dueling Network. It's capable of willing, winning. It's not going to be top tier, but I thought I'd profile it with you guys. Uh, let, you know, let you know my thoughts. So I wanted to see what you think of it, see what I can change in it. But yeah, this is uh, my Machina Roid build. And I'll explain a few things as we go along. So first up, the first three cards I use in it are Express Roid. This card is essential for its uh, uh, recycling roids in this deck. It's also useful for um, the machine duplication combos, which I use a lot in this deck. Um, it's, it's basically the key recycler of the deck. Helping with that combo, I run three. Ambulance Roid again, a machine duplication target. Also, when I use Express Roid to add stuff back to my hand, if I have Ambulance Roid out, I can special summon it instead. And with things like Armor Roid, that can be deadly. Anyway, let's get those out of the way. Sorry about this, I haven't recorded in a while. Uh, next up, I run three Armor Roid. These are the main beat sticks of the deck. They work each as a heavy storm, but they also work as targets for my Machina Fortress, which I'll get to in a bit. But yeah, three Armor Roid. They're great cards for this deck. Next up, I run three Machina Gear Frame. They work as the main, well, the level four beat stick of this deck, but they also, and to be honest, this is their main purpose, search out Fortress. So with those, we have one, two, three fortress i won't say this is the win condition of the deck but this is the de what is the what the deck is built to get out for the most part apart from exceses and synchros but yeah machine of fortress everyone knows about him and everyone knows about gear frame so i won't really talk about those next up i run three cyber valley this deck again runs on a what was I going to say? Machine duplication combo engine. So targets for machine duplication are rife in this deck. It's also a good target for one for one. So Cyber Valley is an amazing card. I run one Cyber Dragon because combo cy uh, Cyber Dragon with a machine dupe at the right time and you will get yourself a massively powerful Chimeratech Fortress or Over Dragon depending on what you've got. Uh, I run one Glow Up Bulb. This is the... well. And uh, Summon Monk, these are the only non-machines in the deck. Glow Bulb is also a one-for-one one target, which I will use in most cases, and if I don't have a dupe in my hand. Uh, this gives me access to every Synchro in my extra deck. Uh, it doesn't rely on Synchro, but it's a good optional extra. Summon Monk helping me search my um, Express Roids for machine dupe combos, and helping me use Gear Frames for just uh, exceeding and what not. Uh, that's it for the monsters under the spell lineup. I run three machine duplication. Garmin Altmux is so uh, so important to this deck. Uh, but yeah, three machine dupe. Literally, this is the heart and soul combo of the deck. Let's me spam things. Let's me get easy exceeds. Fucking perfect card. Next up, I run a lot of these. Are a lot of ones. So the, I run one one for one. One limited removal because it's limited one. One future fusion for use with stuff in my extra deck, which we'll see. One Monster Reborn, one Dark Hole, one Heavy Storm, and of course, for a combo based deck, I run three Pop of Duality for when things just are not going my way. This also makes the deck a 37 card deck, which is perfect for hunting things out. Uh, that's it for my uh, spell lineup. Onto traps, I run one Starlight Road because it's essential in this format. I run two of my favourite trap of this format, that is Threatening Roar. I run one Call of the Haunted because if you can get a um, Ambulance Roid out and Call of the Haunted an Express Roid or vice versa, you can get an easy special summon off of that. You know, you can easily special summon a couple of Armoroids, so really useful. Uh, and then of course I run the obligatory Solemn Warnings and Solemn Judgment because I have the defense for them. Anyway, that's it for the main deck. Moving on to the extra deck. Because I run level 1s, I run one Formula Synchron. Just the one because it's limited. I run one I have Justice Contestor, and one Notoria Beast, because this is an Earth deck. I run one Brainac for my level 6, and one Barkeon again, because this is an Earth based deck, and you never know when you could get it out. Uh, I run one Black Rose Dragon, because you never know. I run one Stardust Dragon for the Starlight Road, and for, of course, Synchroing, and I run one Scrap Dragon. I run two level 8s, mainly because of uh, the Fortresses being able to combo with the Glow Up Bowl, because they're level 7s. Uh, next for the fusions, I run one Chimeratech Fortress and one Overdragon as a target for my future fusion. I may consider putting an Overload fusion, but at the moment this is the win condition of the deck, so I don't run it wholly. Uh, and then XCs wise, I run one Leviathan and one Leviathan, 
because I can bring back Cyber Valleys with Leviya. Then finally I run one Utopia and one Roach because I can get into a lot of level 4s with this deck. But yeah guys, this has been my Machina Roid deck. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know what you think on it. Um, I'm going to try and do some more videos real soon. I'm sorry I've been off the loop because uh, university is wearing hard on me. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the comment box below. I'm looking forward to seeing your feedback. Uh, if you want to play this deck on Dueling Network, hit me up with a message and I'll arrange a time. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.